What is going on everyone? This is mining and this is my first mining rig in its final form, maybe, um, with eight 1080 Ti's all running, all stable. Um, I've had this rig completed um, and stable for about, um, about a month. Um, the newest version of NiceHash that came out, um, really it, I haven't had any problems since then. And as you can see, there are eight 1080 Ti's. I, the top five were the original ones for my first rig. Uh, still there, no issues whatsoever with them. All SC Black editions of the EVGA. And here are the three editions. These are SC2s, um, obviously EVGA. And so these ones I were able to pick up for $699. And I think that these were about, when I purchased these, were about $704. Um, so those are good prices. You can't get those kind of prices anymore. But maybe with um, Cyber Monday coming up, that might change. Um, I have three EVGA Supernova 1200 power supplies. And they're all daisy chained together. And it's a jumbled mess. The biggest thing, I know this is a cable nightmare. Um, but the biggest thing that I'm concerned about is to make sure that nowhere are these cables touching the graphics cards or the back plates or anything which is potentially hot. And so make sure that I haven't had any issues with the risers I've been using. Um, those are from PC Mining Parts. And so here is what I'm currently mining at. $29.20 and that's running at as you can see 68 power limit and a core really minor overclock of 45 on the core and 300 memory clock I've, I've ran these before with 90 core clock and 500 memory clock um, but my biggest concern right now is also making sure that the power is stable I live in a really old apartment with 10 amp um, breakers, so if I crank this thing up to about 80%, I just, I, the, um, the circuit just goes. So right now, they're running at 68, um, the power line is doing okay, and I'm mining about 489 millihashes of Lear 2, Revolutionary 2, so yeah. It's been mining today about $29 to $34. And so these cards are each now mining at about $4 a card. And I didn't think about maybe a month and a half ago that we'd ever see those kind of numbers again because just a month and a half ago, these cards were each mining about $1.80. And now we're almost, well, we're back up to four essentially. Um, actually, I've been seeing as high as five um, sometimes, um, just briefly. So it's just a good time to be mining. And this is what I've done with my first rig. And if, you know, if I can do this, then I'm sure anyone can. I think it's um, about halfway through with paying for all my rigs. Um, right now, I'm currently earning about 50 to $55 a day. Um, and I have this rig. I also have three 1080 Ti's that I have running in like a gaming PC um, that I've converted to a mining rig. And I also have a, the seven, well now it's seven um, 1060's um, Zotax that are mining about $11. The three um, 1080 Ti's are mining about 10 to $12. And this you can see is running about $30, so about $50 on average, um, especially for this week. So this is going to be a good week for mining. If you haven't, um, or if you were on the fence about getting into mining, I would definitely say that this is an opportunity, especially with um, Cyber Monday coming up and hopefully some good deals. Honestly, if you could pick up a 1080 Ti non-reference version for under $700, that's a good price. Um, also, one other thing. These things are so hot. My apartment is about 800 square feet. Relatively big 
apartment. But the heat that these things just put off, my, I had this in the family room. The family room was about 80 or 90 degrees with the windows open. And you can see that now I have it over here with next to this window and vents. I have the fans off um, just because they're too loud. It's, um, the sound is fine. These aren't loud at all. But just the amount of heat, you literally heat a home. And actually, um, what I'm looking forward to doing is I can't live with um, <laughs> in an 800 square foot apartment with three mining rig rigs going um, during the summer. So I'm actually looking to build um, a home. And my plan would be to um, put these in the basement and hopefully just heat my home during the winter with this. So I'll keep you guys posted with that. Uh, I did want to show you my um, my gaming rig. Um, I have a 1050 uh, Ti in here, and just for I guess lulls, I have it um, mining right now. It's doing about 85 cents, which isn't too bad for like a, a hunt. Well, it was 150 dollars when I picked it up, but now you can get this for like 120, uh, a little bit less even maybe. Uh, Zotac uh, mild <laughs> GPU overclock of 90 megahertz and uh, 400 on the memory clock and it's doing about Equihash at about 144 it's not bad and if you're just looking to get in or just looking to try try out mining it's a good um, it's a good GPU but you know I have I own 11 1080 Ti's and I own seven 1060 six gigabytes, but my personal piece gaming PC is um, running a 1050 Ti, and it just makes actually it makes sense because the monitors I have are um, just 24 inch um, 1080p, um, I think 75 mega um, re refresh rate, so that's fine for that. I'd just be throwing money away if I used anything more than a 1050 Ti. And the monitors I'd need for the 1080 Ti are just so expensive. But look, for anyone who's looking to just try it out and looking for a cheap card, the 1050 Ti um, mining about 85. Um, and it's a, and you can get some overclocked versions and things like that that might put out a little bit better than this, but this is still pretty good. So this is the final form of my original mining rig. I'm not sure right now if I can add more since I'm kind of at a power limit, but who knows down the future. So final form right now, making about $30 a day. And thanks everyone for sticking around and watching this video. Um, good luck on Cyber Monday and hopefully I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.